Throughout the pages of fiction, creatures from lore and mythos are depicted in narrative that challenge the conventions and everyday norms of our reality. In my written and illustrated works, I too have depicted my world's entities, some familiar and others misunderstood. Inktober approaches, and in 2022, I took part of a challenge at many prompts, one of which involved the depiction of a familiar mythological entity, yet in a very unfamiliar way. Welcome back to Animus, and this is my redesigned take on fairies. Today we discover their origin, behavior, and design within the wilds of the unexplored caves, forests, and jungles of Animus. Sometime after the beginning of the world, humans were brought into existence, born into three species with the potential to rule above all other creatures. Before this time, however, there were others that existed, somewhere between beast and not quite human, creeping within the quiet darkness of the caverns, hiding in the shade beneath the jungle canopies, are the forest folk, also known as the fairies. Forest folk, more of a slang term for these entities, are beasts known by travelers to best be avoided should their path take them through a jungle or a cave. Wanderers who've ignored such warnings have been known to go missing for days, weeks, or in worst case scenarios, never to be heard from again. Paths suspected to have forest folk activity are sometimes marked with warning posts to notify other travelers to be especially cautious not to travel too far off their trail, lest they be met with a precarious fate. Forest folk, or fairies, are very insectoid in appearance, living in nests sometimes referred to as hives, following a similar structure and hierarchy with a queen at the top. Despite this, however, fairies are not true insects of animus, as they share biological features that more closely align themselves with something slightly more primate than arthropod. Standing at the size of a child between three to four feet in height, fairies, by themselves, are skittish. Xenophobic creatures which more time than often flee on first encounter rather than attack, to the trait warrior, mage, or gunman, a single fairy poses little threat, but their true strength lies in their numbers. Fairies, in the right conditions, being that they outnumber you, sense that they can overpower you, or are provoked by you entering their territory, can attack with a multitude of magic spells, namely under the wind, ice, lightning, and fire arts. Physically, their sharp claws can tear unsuspecting foes, and their stone-carved spears can pierce through light armor with ease. Similar to insect caste systems, fairy caste systems exist with evolved, specialized roles for different members of their nest. These member groups are most easily defined in two generalized varieties, winged and non-winged fairies. Non-winged fairies are most commonly responsible for hunting and gathering resources around their nest's surrounding environment, which are later used to sustain and grow the colony. However, it should be noted that this role is not exclusive to non-winged fairies only. Winged fairies produce the widest physical and morphological diversities within the colony, and are specialists responsible for defending, scouting, as well as foraging. The fairy queen is a rare winged variant, which will give birth to anywhere from 50 to 100 spawn in her lifetime. I designed this back in Inktober of 2022, when I took the idea of a fairy and flipped it on its head. I strayed away from the cute, delicate nature of your status quo design in favor of something that was creepy, but not too creepy within the realms of my universe. To me, in pop culture, fairies appear to be small, human-like sprites with insect wings like a butterfly's or a dragonfly's. So for this, I want to reverse the ratio of human to insect by making a mostly insect-like creature with some human-like traits, but the uncanny ones like teeth, gums, lips, and a spine that shows through their skinny, partially plated bodies. The big eyes are inspired of those from dragonflies on a frame that has some monkey or imp-like influence. In the pages of my story, you might find yourself lost in a cave, encountering a lone fairy in the shadows, or its many kin, eyes glistening in the dark, wings thrumming, and teeth chattering, ready to attack if provoked by your misstep. One way to find out is to subscribe to my channel and support my project on Patreon via the link in the description. But not before I give a special thanks to Jake Parker, the creator of Inktober, a national drawing challenge who I, in some ways, had to thank for the creation of this. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. 
And if you did, let me know in the comments section about what you think and if you'd like to see more. Anyway, as always, thanks for watching, and until next time, cheers.